Which of the following are present in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell? First option, lipid protein cell wall. That is wrong because cell wall is not made up of lipid protein. Second, cytoplasmic and nuclear regions. Yes, it is true. Third, distinct nuclear envelope. It is wrong because nuclear envelope are absent in prokaryotic. And fourth, circular chromosomes of DNA. Circular chromosomes of DNA are present in prokaryotic but it absent in eukaryotic. So, the right answer is B. Next question. Which of the following correctly describes the Na plus and K plus ion across the cell membrane? So, remember one thing. Outside this cell membrane, the concentration of Na plus always high. It means the outside the cell membrane, the concentration of K plus is low. Remember one thing. Na plus is present outside the cell membrane and K plus is present inside the cell membrane. So the concentration of Na plus outside the cell membrane is always high. That does not mean that inside the cell membrane K plus concentration is low. Outside the cell membrane the concentration of Na plus is high. It means the outside the cell membrane K plus concentration is low. So the right, right answer is A. The concentration of Na plus ion outside the cell is high and the concentration of K plus ion outside the cell is low. Next question. What is the correct sequence of different stage in blood clotting? So during the blood clotting first occurs the platelet rupture then formation of thrombin first it means conversion of prothrombin into the thrombin after the formation of thrombin then occurs the fibrin formation from the fibrinogen and last forms the clot and the clot will form by the fibrin plus erythrocyte so the correct sequence is 4 2 1 3 it means the right answer is c next question which of the following is most likely to occur when a cell is placed in hypertonic solution? First, we take a beaker. Inside the beaker, a hypertonic solution, put a plant cell or a cell. Inside the cell, hypotonic. So what happened? Inside the cell, water come out and cell become shrink. That process is known as plasmolysis. Next question, which of the organelles having a main function to manufacture the product? So the right answer is D, ribosome and chloroplast. Why? Because ribosome produce the protein or manufactures the protein and chloroplast performing the photosynthesis and manufactures the food. So the right answer is D. Next question. Fatty acid are broken down initially by a process known as so here is the option first glycolysis glycolysis is the process of breakdown of glucose not fatty acid transmination transmination it is the process of amino acid synthesis pentose phosphate pathway it is also not a process of fatty acid breakdown the right answer is beta oxidation beta oxidation is the process of breakdown of fatty acid when the fatty acid enters in the aerobic respiration first it convert into the acetyl coa and then acetyl coa enters in the tca cycle so the first process conversion of fatty acid into the acetyl coa is known as beta oxidation next question which of the following cellular structure is related to protein synthesis very easy question we know the protein synthesis are related to the ribosomes so in this four option lysosome nucleolus mitochondria golgi operators there is no ribosome but indirectly nucleolus are responsible for the formation of ribosome so the right answer is b nucleolus are responsible for the formation of ribosomes and ribosomes will forms the protein next question the carbon dioxide produced by living organism come from the we know that the carbon dioxide is the end product of aerobic respiration or the cellular respiration occurs in our cell so the cellular respiration the substrate for the cellular respiration is the food stuff whatever the food we inject in our body first it digest from complex to the simple form then it absorb and via the blood 
दिस फूड स्टॉप्स आर एंटर इन साइड दिस सेल एंड इन साइड दिस सेल द सेल्युलर रेस्पिरेशन अकर्स एंड द एंड ऑफ दिस सेल्युलर रेस्पिरेशन वी विल गेट्स द ए टी पी एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो दैट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज फ्रॉम द फूड स्टॉप सो द राइट आंसर इज बी फूड स्टॉप इंजस्टेड बाय द ऑर्गेनिजम नेक्स्ट in pulmonary circulation in mammals the veins carry so first of all in mammals double circulatory system are present here we see first is lungs then heart and the rest of the body part so the oxygenated blood comes from the lungs to the heart and from heart to the rest of the body so lungs from the lungs the oxygenated blood carried out by the pulmonary vein and from heart to the lung the deoxygenated blood or co2 containing blood are transported by the pulmonary artery this is a double circulatory system from body to the heart so this part is known as pulmonary circulation so see question again pulmonary circulation in mammals the veins carry so here is only vein pulmonary vein this side is pulmonary artery so the pulmonary vein carries the oxygenated blood from lungs to the heart so the right answer is b oxygenated blood towards the heart next question which portion of brain establishes the regularity of respiration for the regularity of respiration responsible the pons and in the pons there are two part inferior and superior the right answer is superior pons are responsible for the regularity of respiration next in the initial digest digestive process in men all of the following occur in the mouth except it means following the process are occurs inside the mouth except first secretion of enzymes yes it is occur in mouth primary carbohydrate digestion yes inside the mouth the starch digestion starts so it is true fats and protein digestion no this is wrong fats and protein digestion not occurs in mouth inside the mouth only the digestion of carbohydrate occur and last the conversion of food into the smaller piece yes it is also truth because the help of teeth the conversion of food into the smaller pieces so the right answer is c fats and protein digestion do not occurs in mouth protein digestion starts from the stomach and fat digestion occurs in the small intestine next question the growth reaction of plants to gravity is called means plant shows the various reaction according to the external stimulus thigmotrophism is a touch stimulus thermotropism temperature stimulus heliotropism is a sunlight stimulus and the last is geotropism it means gravity stimulus so the right answer is d geotropism